In this video, I will take you through a multi-step heat calculation, but first, let's review heat calculations in general. Anytime there is a temperature change, to calculate the heat released or absorbed, we use Q equals MC delta T. And anytime there is a phase change, to calculate the heat released or absorbed, we use Q equals M times L sub F, where L sub F is the heat of fusion. This is for melting and freezing. Or Q equals M times L sub V. L sub V is the heat of vaporization. This is for boiling and condensation. So in the first problem of the multi-step heat calculations problem set, you are asked how much heat must be absorbed by a 50 gram sample of water at 25 degrees Celsius that warms and then boils. We see that this is heat that is absorbed, so we know that our answer will be positive. And then I gave you a set of axes so you could sketch out the heating curve or the cooling curve as it applies to the problem. This is going to be a heating curve because we are going to warm and then boil our sample of water. In fact, it starts at 25 degrees Celsius. It warms and then boils. So the temperature starts at 25 degrees Celsius and ends at 100 degrees Celsius where water boils but then we're actually going to go through the phase change of boiling. So there are two parts to this partial heating curve, part one and part two. Each will require a different calculation and then we will add them together. So part one is the warming of the water from 25 to 100 degrees Celsius. The specific heat capacity for water is 4.184 and we have 50 grams of it we'll use the equation Q equals MC delta T. The answer is 15,690 joules, which I'm going to round to three sig figs. 15,700 joules. For part two, this is where we actually boil the 50 grams of water. I'm going to use Q equals M times L sub V. L sub V is the heat of vaporization, and we're using that because we're talking about boiling. The heat of vaporization for water, 2,260 joules per gram, times my 50 grams. That's equal to 113,000 joules. Now I'm going to add the two together. I get 128,700 joules for the sum. And then based on rules for sig figs, I'm going to round to the thousands place. 129,000 joules is my final answer. As predicted, my answer is positive because this is heat that is absorbed. Now you can go through and work the rest of the problems in the problem set.